guys, hello and welcome back to another video. If you are new on this channel, I'd love if you could hit the subscribe button and join our little family, which is nearly at a thousand subscribers. So we're nearly there. I'm determined we can do this together. <laughs> also just ignore how gross I look right now. <laughs> So we are back with another hair dye video. I actually feel like it's been a little while. Well, it hasn't, it hasn't. It was like before Christmas, the last time I did one. Yeah, so it's like February now, so not too bad. <laughs> but yeah, so my plan today is actually to bleach my hair and then dye it half and half again because I've already got the half and half going on. I'm really nervous about doing this because I'm actually gonna dye it half black <laughs> and I'm so scared about it, but I'm really excited at the same time. I'm, uh, a little bit worried as to how it's gonna turn out also if you don't like gross things don't look right now but i just want to show you if you see my finger looks weird it's because i've actually taken the bandage off it right now so it's kind of looking a bit little little bit gross right now right it's gone now if you <laughs> if you don't like looking at gross it's gone now it's fine but yeah if you do see it in the video <laughs> it's my post-operation finger but yeah i just wanted to warn you in case you see it and think oh that's disgusting <laughs> <laughs> but it's doing all right it's healing it's fine <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna get on with the bleaching i've actually bought these really big containers <laughs> just in case for future in case i want to just bleach my hair again it's always good to just have it in stock and in stock i sound like i'm a shop <laughs> it's nice to just have it at home and just being able to use it so <laughs> yeah <laughs> so we'll mix that together get on with the bleaching process and yeah we'll see how it goes so i've got my old t-shirt on and i've actually got myself four bubbles so i'm gonna put my hair into four sections i think <laughs> it's been such a long time since i bleached my hair that i just i don't even know <sighs> i think the difficult thing will be trying not to get it on my roots straight away i want to start on this side because this is going to be the hardest to get out I'm just gonna get like really small sections. So I've tried to get it in as much as I can of that side. It's not looking very promising right now, but we'll just wait and see. All right, let's do this bit of hair then. So I've just kind of got it all in my hair. I've literally tried to work it in my hair as much as I can. I've kind of just literally gone to the edge of the tub and tried to scrape it all out. So I'm gonna let this sit for about 40 minutes, wrap it up in a towel, see how we kind of get on, maybe wash it out and then probably do my roots after. Cause I feel like if I tried to do my roots now, my hair's all in one big clump, so I can't really do it. So yeah, I'll probably just let this sit wash it out and then uh, yeah go back and do my roots afterwards oh i'm so scared <laughs> hey, puppy. so it's kind of gone as i expected it to go it's so poofy this is what my hair is like before i straighten it obviously it's worse because of the bleach but this side is just like really pale blue and then this is almost kind of just white now um i'm gonna do my roots as like a bleach bath so it's not as harsh because obviously with the roots being fresh hair it doesn't need the strength as much so i'm gonna just give it a bleach bath and then if i bring it down on my hair it won't be as damaging fingers crossed i'm hoping that's the case because i don't want to completely just burn my hair off so 
we're gonna get on with mixing the next lot of bleach, do my roots, and then, yeah. <laughs> Now I'm looking kind of weird, I've got it all on my roots, I've kind of tried to lather it up a little bit with the shampoo in it. Um, we're just going to wait about 40 minutes and just kind of see how it goes. I'm going to wipe my face and everything. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll come back with the results. It's probably going to be a bit patchy, but <laughs> we'll just see how it turns out. I'm going to be doing one side black anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> so it's time! I'm so scared. I've got my colours, but in both bowls, well, in both tubs. I'm going to start with the green first because in all honesty, seeing that is so scary. So I'm going to go in with the green first. this method of just <laughs> using my fingers and just putting it on but I'm finding it so much easier. I can just dip my fingers in the colour and then just run it through your hair. Oh, if this turns out this colour, I'm going to be so happy. to switch to my camera because switch to my phone because my camera battery is just kind of dying so if the quality of this video is slightly different then just to let you know that's that's what's going on but oh my how amazing is this color though i'm so happy with it also if people don't have these gloves for dyeing their hair you need them i think they were like six quid off amazon or something like that and they wash really easily so you should get them <laughs> Awkwardly laughing because I'm scared. Right, let's get the black hair dye on the brush. <laughs> oh my god! What have I done? done I think it's just a case of sit and let it stay on my hair wonder what I'm doing with my life 
and then come back to you. I'll probably show you what it looks like. I'll probably do it tomorrow because it's getting late now. So I'll probably just wake up in the morning, style my hair, do some makeup, and then we'll do a hair reveal tomorrow. <laughs> I'm excited but nervous. I hope this doesn't go grey because obviously with black going on to a light blonde it's a bit concerning but fingers crossed we'll be okay and I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> say what you want, say what you want, say what you want. Say what you want, say what you want, say what you want. Say what you want. So guys, this is how my hair turned out in the end. I'm super happy with it. I have got to say though, before I kind of just go on, I actually had to re-dye both sides a little bit. So when I first did this side, it kind of turned out more of a dark blue than a black. So the colour that I got from Crazy Colour was actually just, it just said black. So I think that kind of had blue undertones in it. So when I did put this on, it was more blue. So I kind of ordered the Crazy Colour like natural black. So I think that's made this more, it is more black than the sort of, you can still see some kind of bluey undertones in it, but it's a lot better than what it was. Like yesterday when I blow dried it and everything, it was kind of more of a blue and green kind of situation. So I did have to go back over over it but when I did go over it I'm super happy with the results and I'm happy with how it turned out they're still there like it still looks a little bit bluish but it looks really nice with the green because this is like a mint green teal kind of color and I'm super happy with it, how this went my roots are still slightly more green than this bit but that's because my roots were like bleach blonde and this was sort of like bluey colored I kind of expected that but overall I think the look is really good and I love doing the dark eyeshadow I kind of did that to match my hair <laughs> It's a bit more dramatic than what I'd normally do, but I feel like with this look, it's really cool and I love it. So, <laughs> let me know in the comments below if you like this hair or whether it's <laughs> a bit dark. But either way, it's fun, so I can kind of keep the black for a while and I can imagine me swapping and changing this colour for a little, like, I can do it every so often, so I might have it like teal for a little bit and then I might change it to pink or like whatever I'm feeling like, even some, I don't know, purple or something, but it would be cool if I can keep this side dark and then just keep changing this side, I think that would look really cool, but we'll just play around with it. I've also changed the plugs in my ears to <laughs> the opposite colours, that's, I, I literally bought, I think they were on Amazon maybe or eBay, I can't remember, but um, a bunch of plugs because I like the rubber ones and I can just change them all the time and I've got like a multicoloured pack. So basically whatever colour my hair is, I can pretty much have <laughs> the opposite one in each year, which might be sad, it might be amazing, but either way, <laughs> I love doing it. I think it's such a cool thing. I might have to experiment with some makeup and maybe do like black on one side, green on the other. I don't know, I'm not sure how that will look, but we can just have some fun with it anyway, but overall super happy with how it turned out. Let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in another video bye